and welcome to our reflection on Tuesday in the fourth week of Advent. Today's reflection comes from Jane Williams, who is a freelance writer and theologian. But first, let us hear our passage from Scripture. From chapter 1 of the Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Jane Williams's reflection is called Word Made Flesh. Imagining the details of Jesus' birth has been a popular pastime for much of Christian history. The mystery plays that were performed in the Middle Ages, for example, import all kinds of extra characters, like a midwife to help Mary with the birth. But the Gospel writers just stick to the bare bones of the story. They want us to get a sense of what is happening here, of the contrast between the magnitude of what God is doing and the very ordinary methods used to accomplish it. It is St John's Gospel that really brings out the meaning that the others hint at. Like Luke, John hardly mentions the birth of the child, but he leaves us in no doubt about what's going on. The birth is summed up in one phrase, the word became flesh, a human being. John wants us to picture the word, living in power with the God the Father, creating the world the source of all its life. This is what becomes flesh. The extraordinary power that enabled the whole universe is suddenly contained in a human baby. John wants us to feel the shock of that, to make our imagination real as we try to think of what that means. But if John starts with the big picture, the creative life of God, Christians believe that at Christmas, God starts with the small picture. A child is something we can understand. A human baby is a symbol of life and hope. Each new human life is miraculous. A whole new person comes into existence. The little commonplace miracle of birth is something we almost take for granted. But in the birth of the baby Jesus, this is what God is offering over and over again. This is an integral part of the nature of God to make new life. That is why there is any life at all, because the creator of the universe is so full of life that it pours out into the world. God is always life-giving, and the birth of Jesus is God's offer of new life. A baby starts the world with a clean slate. It can discover its own character. It can interact with what is around it and experience and change and grow. In Jesus, God offers us the chance to start a new life, as though we were born again as babies. We can be born into the family of God and learn from that family environment. Life is natural to God, who does not begrudge it to us or force it on us. But as we look at the baby Jesus with love and compassion, God hopes we might see that we are longing to be always what we are in that moment. Just like the few people at midnight mass in the quiet country church, or the weeping girl by the seaside. As we look at that baby, we are touched. We long to feel that we might change into the kind of people who could always sense the presence of the angels and respond with love and kindness to the world around us. And at Christmas, God says, nothing is impossible.
I close with a prayer. Thank you, dear Lord, for the gift of life. Forgive us for taking it for granted. Thank you for entering into this life as one of us, for showing us the pattern of true living in your Son, Jesus. Thank you for family life. We commend to you all who feel unloved, for those separated from loved ones, the lonely and the oppressed, the wounded and injured, the exploited and manipulated. May they know your love and the assurance that with you nothing is impossible. Amen.